Hey everybody, it's Miss PC Tricks back at you again with another helpful tech tip to make your tech life a little bit easier. Today's tip is how to create an MP3 version of a song in iTunes. Now this is ideal for if the songs that you've imported into iTunes are in AIFF format, AAC format, or WAV format, and you want them to become MP3s. Now these don't work, I don't believe, for uh, rights protected files that you purchase from iTunes, but they are great for importing from other libraries or from um, CDs and things like that if you've ripped a CD and you want to import it into iTunes. Okay, so you can see we're in the library music view right here. And we have a list of the songs. And all you have to do is to right click on one of the songs, select create mp3 version and click on it. And you'll see this converting in the window above here. And it's done. Now I'm going to show you where it put that file because iTunes likes to hide things sometimes and if you don't know where the preferences have those files selected for, uh, you don't know where to find them. So we'll go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced, and you can see this is the folder location where it stuck your mp3 right there on the C drive. Now if you've changed this uh, since you've gotten iTunes, you know, maybe you made a change to it previously, then it won't be on this, it might not be on the C drive, it'll be wherever you told it to change it to. And you can always change that by clicking on the change button and selecting a different part of your computer to put that on. But for now, that's where it put it in the iTunes media folder location under music. So uh, just click OK if that's what you want and look in that folder. So we'll bring up the folder here, and you can see that I'm in the uh, Users and My Profile, and you click on My Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, Music, and then we have the album. And here is where I put the MP3 uh, file that I just created. So that's pretty easy. Um, you can tell iTunes that you want to make an MP3 by clicking Edit Preferences General import settings in the mp3 encoder. You can also tell it to put it in a higher quality, um, custom quality, like 320 is about the best you're going to get. So you hit OK. And now I will tell you that the 320 setting is going to make it a large file. So if you want to fit a lot of mp3s on your iPod, um, you're going to want it probably in the 192 kilobits per second, not the 320. But 320 makes it a very good quality if the song is already in good quality. So that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, just either comment me or message me. And um, I hope you subscribe or friend me. If you do friend me, I'll friend you back. Uh, if you have any other questions, just give me a holler. Thanks for watching.